Hello and welcome to this PVLib tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to use the so-called clear sky model of PVLib. This model provides us with irradiance data, which is basically uh, the measurements uh, of the sunlight which hit our uh, PV module. Uh, with this data and the model chain we created in the prior videos, we can then uh, simulate our potential energy yield of the PV system. Before we get started, I need you to install two more libraries on your machine. So we go to the Anaconda Navigator, switch to our Environments tab, and then to All Packages, and you need Mat plot lib you're the first one just uh, click on it and then apply it on the bottom right as you can see I already installed it it's used for um, plotting uh, data uh, and then we also need pandas which is this one here you can also install it as you can see I already have it um, which is used for data handling and um, when you're done with that you can go back to spider now the um, clear sky model is actually part of the location class so we do not need to import um, another class we can just say clear sky equals location which is our location instantiation dot get clear sky um, if we move our cursor here and hit control i we again get the information um, so most of the uh, clear sky model is um, somewhat set um, the important part is the times the first one as you can see here, we need a date time index uh, to provide here. And we create this date time index by using pandas. So we're going to import it. Import pandas as pd. And then we're going to create the basically the time series for which we want to have our irradiance data and then also eventually our energy yield of the PV system. So we say times equals PD dot date range. And then we need to provide the starting point. Um, I'm gonna choose uh, 2021 um oh seven oh one so it's gonna be a beautiful july week um i'm gonna end in whoop, 2021 now we also need to provide the frequency in which we want to have our data here I'm going to choose uh, one minute. And um, what we also need is the time zone in uh, which this time series is taking place. And here we're just going to say time zone equals location dot time zone. That way we access the time zone of our location object, which we already created. And uh, we make sure that uh, our location object and our time series are in the same time zone. Um, then we can just take our times and add them to the clear sky model. Um, now we can actually have a look at this clear sky. Um, but first, actually, we have to import matplotlib. So, uh, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then we say clearsky.plot. 
and um, I'm gonna adjust the uh, size of my figure here so um, looks a little nicer by typing fix size equals 16 9 and then we say plt dot show now you can run your code and in the plot plane of uh, spider if you haven't changed it you should get your irradiance data so we have the global horizontal irradiance which is kind of like the total irradiance we have then the direct normal irradiance, which is basically the irradiance that directly hits our um, PV module, and the direct, uh, the diffuse horizontal uh, irradiance, which um, hits our module um, by being reflected from clouds uh, um, and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna leave some additional information on this in, uh, in the description of the video. Um, now we have our, um, our irradiance data and we just need to combine it with our model chain. And therefore we say, um, uh, model chain, model chain dot run model. And then we provide the weather data, as you can see here, which comes from our clear sky model. So we're just gonna enter this here. And uh, this is gonna execute the model. And then of course we wanna show the results. So we say model chain dot results dot ac dot plot. And again, I'm going to say fix size equals uh, 16, 9. And again, plt.show. So now we can again run our code. And um, besides the radiance data, you will get another plot uh, with just one line, which is our AC output of the PV system. AC meaning you get that's the energy yield in watts behind your inverter, so on the alternating current side. This is basically the the end of your PV system, which you would connect to uh, the rest of your regular house installation and the energy yield you would be uh, able to use with this PV system. Um, so with this you basically have your first complete PV system uh, simulation running including weather data. Feel free to play around with it maybe um, change the location of your PV system, maybe play around with the surface tilt and the azimuth, so the orientation of your PV module, and maybe look for your energy yield at different times uh, in the year or for maybe a longer period of time. That's it for this video. If you ran into any issues so far, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you have any remarks on what I showed you so far, you're welcome to comment as well. Stay curious, be kind, and we'll meet again in another video. Bye.